Chin Chan. Oh, I need more objects around the house that are like the perfect height to vlog. That would do. You're in two books, a uh, piggy bank and a candle. Well, you know, does the job. Just got back from 5K and I've set myself a goal. I don't know how long my goal is. I feel like I should set time limits for my goals. Well, I kind of keep saying, I'll do it on my next run, I'll do it on my next run. If you don't run, you probably won't understand why I want to do this, but I want to get under 30 minutes. I feel like that's not even that hard and I've done it, <laughs> but I've only done it in 10Ks. So I feel like I can't count it. I want to do it off the bat on a 5K and two runs on the trot, I've been two to three seconds over. <sighs> but I'm glad I did it. I feel good and it's still nice and early. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. I have to wait until Ocean's in a nap. Well, I don't, but I just thought it was easier to run out the door when she's down. And then Cass was kind of like getting ready to go to work and then we've literally gone sort places. And now hopefully I'm gonna have enough time to jump in the shower. And today I need to pop to the shops. I've got some returns to do from when I went to Primark. And then I'm getting my eyebrows and my lashes done today. I'm gonna get HD brows and lamination. And then I'm actually gonna get LVL which last time I got LBR I wasn't that fussed about it but I thought I'll try one more time and then if I don't like it it's not that I didn't like it I just thought it was it didn't last very long but we will see and I need to do I want to wash my hair I don't actually really want to wash my hair because it just adds way too much time onto my day but welcome back hope you're having a nice week I really enjoyed my last vlog can I say that I mentioned was it on here was it on tiktok i feel like i mentioned on tiktok that i was like this is the first time in my life where i was like mm, like what is going on with me and youtube at the minute but just because i have this thing i wish i could get over it i think i'm literally a broken record at this point if you've heard me say this 40 times i'm sorry i find things i do and i vlog painfully boring but so many of you have told me that that's the content you like seeing so i've just got a kind of hope that you're telling me the truth because i guess it is more relatable isn't it did I say it? I feel like I'm getting deja vu. I think I said this at the end of my last vlog. <laughs> so I'm not even going to touch it anymore. But that's why I was like in a funk. Especially like at the beginning of the year. I was actually going to mention this in a TikTok I was in the other day. So basically the thing is that's hard is that I'm TikToking so much more now. I love TikTok. I feel like it's that really fast paced app. And that is the way the world is now. People just, everyone's lazy. I like it. Like you want to watch quick things but then I, i'm diehard youtube girl like i love watching long vlogs i like things playing in the background all the time i don't really ever have like telly on other than if there's a series on like love island or something so i get why everyone's kind of like transferred over to the one minute vlogs on tiktok but then when i'm doing stuff like that it's hard to it's not that it's hard because it's i'm never gonna say that what i do is hard i think this job can be seen as hard i know some people were like it's the easiest job in the world whatever i'm not going to go into that but the thing is i think if you watch me on tiktok and then you watch me on youtube i don't want anyone to be like i've literally seen all this because obviously i do the little short vlogs and then i do literally longer versions on here does that make any sense talk about morning brain dump but that's why i was just a bit like oh i think because i'm doing stuff twice as in if i've done the tiktok and then i'm doing it on youtube that's when i'm like this is boring because i'm literally putting myself in you guys' shoes and I'm picturing like I just I'm literally repeating myself but do you, do you know what I mean but I need to stop thinking like that so yeah I feel like the third week of Jan for me has been great I've started my new leaf my new chapter like the whole wake up on the first of Jan and have all these new fresh starts as much as I feel like I like the idea of it I think I need a couple weeks to kind of suss things out. So within the last week, I've joined the gym. I've started like properly journaling. I've got like a 2024 diary and all of this stuff I've just started like without realizing in the last week. So I just feel like my January is falling into place now. And that's where I'm like, it's just a date. There's so much pressure around obviously the first of Jan, which I'm sure you don't need me telling you. But yeah, just a little reminder if you are still waiting to start your new year it's fine because like i said it's took me what three weeks and a lot of people i know like to start in february so start first of february who cares but maybe see this as your little mo motivation to 
get yourself a journal i think journaling is so good like even if you write a couple lines how you feel i try to do something that's like prominent in my day that's happened whether it's good or bad or just like what i've done how i'm feeling and then if you want to achieve something just put it down on paper problem shared is a problem halved but anyways i'm gonna shower sort myself out and i'll take you along for the day and we'll see this might be i was trying to guess what my vlogs are gonna be who knows it might be a week it might be a day twins twins <laughs> she woke up on the wrong side of the cot it was a little bit cranky for a sec weren't you also we've had to give up with bunchies for a little while because um she just pours them out so um we're just going with the bow but as soon as she clocks she's got a bow in that'll be on as well but for now she's not really clocked that the girl in the mirror is her so she can't figure out that that's her bow anyways we're ready and we're heading out aren't we oh cranky pant what's wrong you don't want to be in here well guess what i've got carry bag so it's not my fault you got big overnight in primark and come to return loads of things and obviously i'm just gonna end up not getting my money back because i've picked up bits i saw someone have this the other day and i think it's really really cute there's not actually many left so it's definitely a popular one but i'm thinking oh, it's very like matilda jeff style isn't it and all this i did pick up these I think they're really cute and i've got loads of hangers because i bought i want to say like 100 wooden hangers but they're so thick they take up so much room so i'm going to convert to these thinner ones and they're plastic so they're nice and light and also what else is in here i've got some i'll have to show you when i'm home actually but this has gone from coming shopping to well not coming shopping coming to return and now we're actually having a full-on shop but I always get a bit scared when I'm walking in Primark. Get a bit nervous. <laughs> oh, I keep thinking about them tea towels. I think I might get them. Yeah, I think they're cute. Said it before and I'll say it again. If you need some of it, you need to come into Primark in January. Or literally through the winter because every size is in stock. And I feel like it's sometimes bits that don't come back. Like I got that bikini last time. They didn't have all this linen stuff before. I like that shirt, Nan. Yeah, I'm just looking. I want one Hi, of Hi, baby. This is the bikini I got the other day as well. This is really nice. These bottoms. I might get another pair of these. I feel like black bottoms are so good to have because you can mix and match. They're just a really nice bum shape. I don't like a bum on a bikini that's too revealing. I've not got a big enough bum for that. Nice linen white trousers. The only thing is you need to check you've got a steam or iron in your room on holiday. <laughs> okay, lashes and brows time. I've literally left my Nan and Ocean in the shopping centre because where my brow girl Yasmin is based is, by the way, she is the best. I've literally used her for years and years. She's actually Essex based, so we're in Essex right now. Then I'll leave her thing. It's by Yasmin Beauty, something like that. But yeah, let's transform this face. I'm gonna go back to Nana Notion after because she, was, she was doing that and also some lunch. So Nan was like, why don't you go off? And it made total sense to be honest because I don't actually know how long I'll be here. Thank you. Can I have it? Good morning. Sorry, I went MIA yesterday, but here's my brows and LVL. I can't believe these are my lashes. I had LVL done by this exact girl. Her name's Nico. So where I get my eyebrows done, it's her sister that does the lashes. And I had LVL when I was like, I want to say like 37 weeks pregnant. And I loved them so much. I honestly felt like put together during bath and stuff. And it's like superficial. But I loved it. And then I had LVL by another company. Oh no, she's seen the drawer full of stuff. Because I had a voucher from my birthday, I think. And it just didn't hit the same. These are so good, I can't believe it. They literally look like little individuals. But literally, my lashes and then brows are perfect. I kind of like brows and lashes a few days after. I mean, they look kind of nice on camera now, but this morning I woke up and I was like, oh, I just like them to almost, I say like melt into my face, but just kind of blend in a little bit better. But I've got my little shadow with me this morning. She's just yeah. following me everywhere, aren't you, Bubba? And if I leave you whilst I do my makeup, you might freak out, right? Is that right? You're eating all the new Kylie Cosmetics liners, which I'm really excited about. I've got sent all the new Kylie Cosmetics lip liners this one looks so good i think is this one i like or have you got the one i should swatch them all really but there's one that i thought i think it's this one yeah 719 satin 
that looks like my kind of colour. But they look really nice. And I also ordered one of my really old school ones. If you subscribe to my old channel, then you might remember me talking about NYX ever. If you do, then you are an OG because I literally used to talk about that when I was like 17 years old. 17? I think I was 19 when I started YouTube. But I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup. And then, what are we doing this morning, Oshi? Just me and you. So Daddy's turned to wake up early this morning. I don't know if I've explained this before, but we take it in turns. We're really strict with it. Like, we've never kind of swayed. Even if one of us gets, like, no sleep the night before. Obviously, if one of us was ill, we'd sway. But we take it in turns each morning to get up with Ocean. And then the other person gets to sleep in until well whenever really well i say whenever like her first nap which while she's still quite young she's down for her first nap in the first two hours anyway so this morning i slept in till about quarter to nine which was nice I felt like i really needed it and then when i got up Cass went to work but that works really well for us if you have that i know it's massive luxury but Cass is quite flexible with his hours he can kind of baby you're shaking the camera what's wrong you want to stand up here? Then you can't get your fingers stuck, can you? Just woke up from a nap. To be fair, we've had a bit of a mare the last <laughs> half an hour. This is my mood, honestly. But I was changing her bum when she woke up and she grabbed her nappy. Like, she put her arms down by her side and grabbed her nappy whilst I was wiping her bum. TMI, but she threw the nappy, like, grabbed it so quick and, like, slung it and it had poo in it. And it went, oh my god, it could have been so much worse. It could have gone up the walls. But it, like, oh. went all over her, all over me, all over everything that was around her. Like, all these, like, lotion bottles. And I honestly have just spent the last half hour disinfecting us and everything around us. So, that was a good start to the day. Which little one have you gone for? Okay, do you want to go back on the floor? Oh, <laughs> she just loves to be involved in everything. By the way, I just put on some SPF. Yeah, so, getting ready... I was supposed to go to London today. I forgot to mention this yesterday, but we were going to be meeting up with some friends we've made on... I say we, but I've made a friend on TikTok. I literally... Most of my best friends I've made through this job. Like, Zelia, Aisha, Liv. Literally through Instagram and YouTube over the years. So, even though I've not met up with someone new in a really long time, I still think it's, like, the best way to make friends. It's, like, the 21st century, isn't it? So, you've probably heard of her. Her name's Harley, and she's got a little girl called Alora. They're really big on TikTok. But she reached out and was just like, would you be up for meeting up? Like, we can meet halfway, which happens to be London. And I was like, oh, my God, yes, absolutely. Like, I want more mum friends. So funny, right? But Alora's not very well today. So, we're going to rain check and go... And do something next week but it's fine i kind of cancelled like all my work for today but i'm just gonna do a couple jobs that i had in for tomorrow and get on top of things a little sneak peek i'm working with olaplex and i think i've got a job with tesco as well which i'll probably start today but obviously working around baby <laughs> are you standing up girl just wants to stand up 24 7 but a few people have asked recently if i can show more of like how i get things done with her around because nine times out of ten she is with me i'm so lucky that my nan lives so close and obviously Cass's family are as helpful as possible but they obviously all have full-time jobs but today i'm gonna try and get ready while she's awake which i always try and do it while she's asleep i did wash my hair while she's asleep but it's fine she can kind of entertain herself but she's been in a bit of a needy mood at the minute so she wants to be like if you can see her right now you can just see her hair she stood up and she's like clinging to my dressing gown which by the way this is the cutest thing it's like a matilda jeff dupe it's from the gifted sisters they sent me my strawberry vase as well if you follow me on instagram you might have seen it but i love their bits and i do if we have time maybe you want to take her to baby sensory but it's in like an hour. Do you want to go baby sensory today, Bella? Because gymnastics would have been today. But obviously I cancelled gymnastics because we were supposed to be going to London. But it's fine. I'm kind of going with the flow. But anyways, I'm going to start to... I don't know what I want to do to my face. I feel like because I've got my brows and lashes on, there's not loads I want to do. I just need to... I don't know if you can see they're quite red around my eyebrows. Because I always get so sensitive when i have the wax on so let's put a little bit of this fenty skin tint on i actually could do with one shade lighter i actually bought some new concealers the other day the ones that everyone's raving about from hourglass but i haven't 
yet tried them. Oh, I wish I had one layer. I feel like I'm not that tanned. Anyways, I'll catch up in a sec and see what we're going to do today. But I also want to get to the gym. I feel like I'm finally in my groove and I love working out each day, whether it's running, whether it's just going for a nice long walk and getting in 10k steps. Like we went to London Monday and wouldn't have had time to fit anything in, but because we walked around, I got loads of steps in. So in my eyes, that's still an adequate amount of like work, working out for me. Okay, I've done what I needed to do filming wise. I can't believe I've got it done. My eyebrows still look a little bit crazy. You're laughing because you think you've got something naughty, but you can't do much harm with hangers, I don't think. I'm gonna do a quick Primark haul, but I also just really quickly wanted to show this little jumper that someone has, I say someone, let me get the name. A lovely lady called Christ oh, two ladies, Christina and Auriella. I hope I'm saying that right. And the company is called Tiny Treasured Threads. And she's wrote me a whole letter. They've wrote me a whole letter. I'm confused because it says I and stuff like that. So it sounds like it's written by one person. But I'm sorry if I've got that wrong. But basically she said that she's been following me for a really long time and she had a baby just after me. And she found so much comfort in watching my videos and loves following my and Ocean's journey. And I just thought it was the cutest thing that she took time to write me a letter and also make this jumper. And it's in my colours that I love, pink and red. I'm obsessed. She's done it a little bit bigger. So this is a bit big for Ocean at the minute, but so cute. And yeah, that is the Instagram if you want to go and check them out. I hope that's focusing. If not, I will leave it on the screen. But yesterday, you would have seen, we went to Primark and I ended up spending the, well, £3 out. Everything I returned, I had to spend £3 on top. So I didn't get any money back. But I, I feel like this was a more necessary it wasn't necessary but these are things that i feel like i'm gonna get more use of it's not just loads of clothes so in my wardrobe at the minute i can show you because there's some next to me i have so many of these wooden hangers and they look nice but they're so thick so for this one wooden hanger it's the same thickness of about three of these black ones so I'm gonna make the swap, I think, because there's just not enough room, if not. These are non-slip hangers, and they were £2.80 for 10. And also, when I got these wooden ones, I think they were like 10 for 10. Ridiculous, and I've got so many, so I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them. But for now, I've picked up five packs of hangers, I think, but I still don't think that that's gonna be enough. But I just wanna double check that I definitely wanna do the swap. I think I do, but it's gonna be quite a long process and then i saw these fake flowers and i thought they were such good fakes and they're plastic i don't know why that is something i liked about them but i just thought they were really good this light is horrible literally hideous i've got such a bad down light right now but whatever these i just think will look so good especially as we're coming into spring they weren't the cheapest but i guess you get so much use out of them that they end up being a lot more for your money than buying flowers every week. And these were £4 a little bunch. And I got three of them because I just feel like I've got quite big vases and I thought they'd look nice. If not, I can spread them out. Plante, honey bunny, sugar plums. And then I showed you these when I was in Primark. The little tea towels. These were £2.50 each. And you get two tea towels. One's just striped. And then one's got all of the vegetables on it. I got these little shorts. I thought these would be nice for either like around the house when it gets a little bit warmer or on holiday. £3.50. And I think I'd wear them more on holiday to be honest. Even with like a swimsuit, baggy white shirt. Just thought that it's good to have. Oh, Ocean, one of your dummies is in here. And then I picked up some linen. I mean, I don't, I doubt they're linen, but. I don't know what a linen dupe is. I got these in a size medium and they're just wide leg white trousers. These were £10. And I also picked these up in black as well. But I just think you can never have too many of these. And I feel like these are the type of things that after a couple of holidays with sun cream and stuff, they end up looking a little bit yellowy, especially obviously the white ones and just a little bit worse for wear so i do like to get a new hair every so often and i 
sound like a broken record but go in and make the most of the summer bits in the winter these are my favorite type of hair bands because they don't kink your hair 12 for a pound which i think is really good i got some microfiber cloths for the kitchen you get in the receipt tab checking how much i spent did i spend too much and then that's everything i got so i feel like before i just was returning like pajamas jeans because it didn't really fit me perfectly and a couple of other like clothes that i was just buying for the sake of it to be honest so that's what i got and let me show ocean's outfit of the day oh hello your hair we need to sort your hair out immediately effective and immediately <coughs> we also need to open your blinds but this is a cute little bunny jumper from h&m I think H&M for kids is so reasonably priced and the quality is so nice. And then she's got a little H&M rib leggings on as well. And then I've got on, honestly, I wear, I don't even know how to wear it, but like I spend a fair bit of money on clothes and I've got a wide range of like affordable and then the higher end. This I got sent in a box with Living Proof, the brand's dry shampoo, as like just a little bit of their merch. And I honestly kid you not this is my most warm i am probably of january i love it so much it's just so comfy and a nice thin kind of baggy jumper and it doesn't crease i just love it and i said it was a free like merch but anyways we've got baby sensory now and then to be fair i know she's gonna be wiped out after that she always is after a baby class and then we've got we kind of got the day to ourselves, but I need to do a little bit of admin on my laptop and my head is banging, I can't lie. I just feel like as much as I have in my head that I want to go to the gym or something. Oh my God, am I gonna, am I gonna? Wait for our second hairstyle of the day. And it's nearly bath time, bath time, bath time. Oh no, this is why a lot of the time I can't even do the little space buns anymore because you just rip them out, don't you? I don't honestly think she's realised she's had them in until she's just seen herself in the viewfinder. Are you so clever? Be careful. I'll do it. Let mummy take them out then. Oh, you're so cute. How are you this cute? Oh, cuddles. Oh, my head is pounding guys i think i'm gonna do i don't know i need to sort the house out and then i might i'm thinking of doing like a matte pilates class which i've never done in my life on youtube and that is all we're gonna be able to do today because today's actually gone like this i just don't know where the time goes to be honest but just run a bath and she's a bit hit and miss with bath time at the minute sometimes she loves it sometimes she really doesn't like it i feel like i got catch her at the right time but I've also stretched her weight window slightly before bed because she was waking up a few times on the trot at like 4am and just stirring for like 20 minutes, half hour. So last night I pushed it back a little bit because I normally put it to bed like half six. So I've been doing seven-ish and I know that might seem really early, but it's always worked for us until like the last week. So we're doing seven now and last night it worked well. So we're going to try it again, but... She gets so ratty by the time, so she seems really tired, but she's gonna go with the flow, you know? had the most manic morning had a pt session well i actually woke up at 6 45 which is actually ideally the best connect best case best case scenario because i needed to put her down for a nap before i ran out the door for pt and that was at 9 till 10 and then i had plays 10 45 to 11 45 and now it's 12 53 and we're gonna be getting the train in like 20 minutes 25 minutes and we're gonna go to Westfield. My nan's got an appointment in London, so we're gonna go with her, but we're just gonna go to Stratford because that is just very simple with the pram and just 
a comfort blanket, you know? But I really quickly want to open this parcel. Literally don't know why I do this before I'm running out the door, but I know what it is and I'm excited. It's a new Polen bag. They sent me one before and I absolutely love their bags. Such a good like mid-range. Hi, Bubba. <laughs> You wanna see mummy's parcel? Such a nice mid-range, like luxury, high quality bag. Does that make sense? Like it's not gonna break your bank completely, but it's the best quality. <gasps> and I really wanted a new like nappy bag, as in just a big enough bag to put on my shoulder, put loads of stuff in for this girl. <laughs> But let me, I'm gonna quickly take a picture of this on my phone and then I'm gonna open it. And here she is. I can't think. Let's see what the label says, what the name of this is. Sign, seam, and yeah. If you wanna see this styled on TikTok, it's so cute. It's like a proper Pinterest bag. You can pull out the sides and it's a nice big, <laughs> it's a nice big bucket bag. But it's gonna go quite nice with what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing navy, so. Gotta go, but I'll show you when I'm out what it looks like. So Ocean's gone to sleep, which is just good timing. Just pulling up to Westfield and I've left my nan at another station. So she can go to her hospital appointment and then she's gonna come and meet me here after and have a little afternoon shopping. If you live near a flying tiger, please come in here and look at all their notepads. If you follow me on Instagram, I think I might mention it on YouTube. I have a five year journal and I write literally that amount each day. How I'm feeling, what I'm doing, it's the best thing ever. I cannot wait to look back at it in the future. I've been doing it for nearly a year. Mine's so much uglier than this and it was so much more expensive than this. This is seven pound. I think mine was like 20 and it's multicolored but you know and i'm gonna get this i just need a notepad just dotted around the house and then i thought this mail planner was cute because you can rip off your shopping list it's got like perforated edge and just their planners are so freaking cute i actually bought this before i feel like buying it again and i put it in a plastic bag by the front door and castle is rubbish and threw it away so i never got to use it it's like a whiteboard I feel like this would be good to write my workouts and stuff like for Cass to see if like we're in and out of the house. I don't know. I just thought like this is quite oh, do I rebuy it? Again, flying tiger. I love a seasonal mug. <laughs> I'm not gonna get one because I just feel like my cupboard is overflowing with mugs and when it comes down to it I always end up just keeping the neutral ones. But I'm gonna get two of these. I'll flick for it when I get home, but it's just a little gimmicky gift for me and Cass. Basically, we'd have vouchers each and you can use them up throughout the year. And it's like one full body massage, one night of full control. Some of them are like really jokey. For the next hour, you have to do this. Um, there's like, tonight you have to cook me dinner of my choice. I just thought it was really cute. And it's like, we have to go for dinner to like on um, X night. And I just thought it was a cute idea. Oh my God, this stuff is so cute. That is such a good idea. Look at that little photo album. <laughs> this kind of style with the American flag from Ralph Lauren, but the Ralph Lauren one was like four times the price of this. I'm gonna see if they've got a large, this is an XL. I do quite like this actually, it's nothing slouchy. I really like it with these trousers. I just think these are my story, they're from PLT. They're like 12 pound, but I love Hollister. They've got the classic like summer bits. I'm not actually loving this, but it's very cute. I don't like little me personally. Like crochet dresses. And then these are a few bits that I'm gonna get. Like I'll show you when I'm home, but a summery crop jumper for over bikinis. And then I'm actually gonna get this little cute crochet bikini. The bikini bottoms are such a nice like boomerang high rise style. You can kind of see here. And yeah, absolutely loving it. <laughs> I don't know who this new gal is. 
but she needs a shower. Just done my first mat at home Pilates. Let me turn this down. And I clicked on beginners and I was about to get a bit cocky and be like, how do you want to like make it worthwhile? Should I go on like a bit harder? And I thought, nah, let's give beginners a go. I can always change it. Humbled very quickly. Humbled very, very quickly. I forget Pilates is quite tricky, but just had some dinner as well. And I had some left over because Cass said he's going to get some food on the way home from work. So I was like, you know what? You snooze, you lose because here I am again with my, I love having salmon for like a meal prep. And I've got it with uh, broccoli, sweet potatoes and sweet corn. And it was so yummy. I've been so healthy today. And I've still got like, I, well, I technically am doing like calorie counting. This is the first time I've properly done it, by the way. It's time. But I'm just doing it so that I can kind of get to the hang of it. Because I don't want to be constantly like revolving my life around calories. But once I've done it for a couple of days, I kind of know in my head roughly what things are. So I just need to remind myself and then I'll stop counting them. But I have room for a snack, uh, like a dessert today, but I don't actually fancy it right now. So I'm gonna have a shower, scrub my face, take this makeup off and see. It's gonna be a bit patchy now. But yeah, and Love Island is just starting. So I'm gonna chill for the night and then I am going to PT in the morning. So I will take you along in the morning and see what we'll get up to. Night. Good morning! <laughs> I love your outfit. Please, can you stand out so we can see your outfit? <laughs> yes, mommy's got the same outfit on for now. I had to chuck something on this morning because I had to go outside the house, but I'm going to get changed. Not that I don't support wearing the same outfit over and over again. I fully do. I do feel like it seems a little bit warmer today. No! She's noticed her hair. Please, please, please. <laughs> Honestly, please send help. Do you know how to stop? your child from just yanking their hair out. Mm. I'm gonna show you outfit for now, at least. So she's got the Mickey mini jumper on and some pink leggings. Ocean, I can't leave your hair like that. So I don't really know what we're gonna do. What are we gonna do? You look crazy. I also didn't show anything that I got yesterday at Westfield, so I need to do a haul. But I got some good bits to be fair. I can't believe how much harder it is vlogging with a nearly 10 month old compared to when she was just starting to be on the move but i did my makeup in literal pitch black today as well because it was dark in her room and i was just doing it while sitting on the floor whilst we were slowly waking up but it's gone all right to be honest i think today is gonna be the last day that i vlog for this vlog i'm actually gonna meet georgia and cass is coming because leon's off and cass is off so they were gonna come out with us but they're actually gonna go play golf. And we were like, do you know what? We're not offended. We would rather have a meet round. The shops, I'm not sure an issue, but no, where Georgia lives is a really nice town. There's a lot more shops than the town that we live in. So she's got like a white company, Space and K and stuff like that. Whereas we've, we're in a more like a little quaint town. I can't leave it like that. You look like you've been electrocuted. I can't leave your hair like that. Ugh. Are we in are we in our tantrum era? Are we in our terrible two? Did you just be sick a little bit? Okay, I'm actually gonna try on something to wear today that I bought yesterday in Primark. I think this is new in because I've not actually seen I've not seen it anywhere. And I was in Primark last week and I literally glanced in there really quickly because my nan was in there and then I saw this and I saw one other thing actually and I ran to the till because I just, we needed to leave and also I thought it was really cute. But do I need more clothes? Absolutely not. This is just so me. It's literally trousers. Probably a bit smart for today to be honest, but grey pinstripe trousers and then this shirt. But it was on the mannequin and it's a collab with someone called Paula, I think. But I think she's Spanish. It is very cool. I don't even know if you can see. I literally never film in my wardrobe because it's always such a mess. It's like a bomb's hair. But in the mannequin, the arms were rolled up. It just looked so cool. But I probably might need to take my Apple Watch off because <laughs> just feel like the Apple Watch maybe isn't the vibe. I can literally not even see the viewfinder and there's a lot of mirror in here. 
Ocean, what do you think? You like it? No, don't pull all my trousers off, darling. This is why you're not allowed in mommy wardrobe ever, 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 unless I'm in here. Right, I've come into good light to show you the outfit because it's really cute, but I'm actually coming on to brag. I really am coming on to brag. Where is it? You're not gonna believe who has sent me PR. Like, honestly. <laughs> I need a minute. Someone needs to bring me back down to earth for a second because it's gonna go to my head. Apple have sent me an iPhone and I don't really know how to behave. I mean, I literally have the brand new iPhone, but it still feels great. And I think I'm gonna use this for content because basically I was have, having emails back and forth with them and they were like, I think it's gonna be amazing to help you with your content and stuff, which is such a good idea because I don't actually have loads of storage on my phone. Well, I do, but. It clogs it up anyway. So having just a content phone and it's bloody pink, I cannot believe it when I saw the email because they let me pick the color. And I was like, you know what? When am I gonna have a pink phone? But I love it. I wish my main phone was pink. <gasps> I just can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Like I literally don't know how to behave. Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm said I'm on Apple's PR. I just can't get over it. And I feel like my makeup looks so cute today. But anyways. I'm sweating very much an illusion today because it looks so sunny and hot out that I'm convinced it's hot out which is the heat and I know it's just the heat and being on but I'm just <laughs> anyways let's go out for a second it was me cast and ocean going out then it was just me going out and now it's me cast and ocean going out again so let's go hello hi hello who's this crazy man <laughs> Oh, we just had a lovely Waggers and now. <laughs> yeah, it is narrow. It is very narrow. We said we'd, we wanted the booth, but not ideal. We just had some noodles. Some, I think we all had noodles. Oh, yeah, we've got curry. But now we're going to go for a little mooch because the sun's still out. Even though it's freezing, I feel like it's nice to be out and have a wander and just pop in a couple shops because every time I vlog, I feel like I'm shopping, but I promise I do do other things. Yeah, and the boys, God knows what the boys are gonna do because I doubt they're gonna be one they're gonna want to be up for shopping, right? Yeah, we are. We're going to sports. Oh, wait, sports. I mean, shopping. We're going to the PUB. Um, we need to put ocean socks on if we're going to power her. Or do you put her in the pan? Sorry, honey. You're away. <laughs> <laughs> I try some shoes on for these feet. Should we get some shoes for these feet? We've come into a running shop. We're having deep chats about trainers, and I'm trying on. <laughs> they said that I look like I'm about to go to London. These are my actual trainers. They said that I look like I'm commuting to London, and you know people put their trainers in their bag, which I think is a great idea. I'm gonna walk to work and then swap over. I need some new running trainers. I really want to do the gait analysis. Oh, sorry, I'm standing in the way. I'm sorry. You really I'm sorry. Are. I can't move very quickly. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, the guy started talking to me, but I've heard a lot of people say that assets are quite good for running. I actually spoke to Zoe Haig, and I feel like she's such a pro when it comes to running stuff. And she said to come for one of these. Are you talking about me? You're talking about me. They bully me because I, I, used I used to talk about how I've done a marathon a lot. I've not mentioned it in ages. You're literally looking at running shoes and you don't run. Yeah. So what's your point about me talking about my mouth? No, I'm looking for gym, like gym shoes. Different. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, he's gonna go get me a 5.5 because I just feel like I, I feel like as I've got older, my feet have grown slightly. They've always been a five, but I go for 5.5 a lot more now. The most boring information ever. I love this little pink look. I don't think they got mini baby yes, trainers. of the things I got yesterday and I got a pair of trainers today for running so I might as well show them actually did I show them in the shop I can't remember but I decided to go with some Asics Asics and these are the ones quite rogue for me I don't think I've ever bought a blue trainer but they were really comfy and, and I should have probably done the gait gait test but I was listening to a girl having hers because they were fully booked today and maybe it was just the place that we were at but it seemed quite like generic questions and she actually went for these ones coincidentally like i was already trying them on and 
I just decided to go for them because I've had mine a really long time and I know you're only supposed to do a certain amount of miles and trainers. I definitely probably haven't gone over it, but I mean, I have had them for like five years. So it was time to upgrade. Honestly, yeah, because I've run them around from like five years ago. That is crazy. So picked up a few bits from Hollister. These are mainly summery bits. This jumper was £35. Their pricing's not bad. It's not the cheapest, but it's also not ridiculous some pajama bottoms these were in the sale they're really really soft these were down to 9.99 got these in a size medium really like them this jumper i showed in the mirror in hollister and i ideally wanted a smaller size but they didn't have it but i really loved the jumper this was 39 pound i'm excited to wear that something i could wear in the summer and the winter and then I got a bikini. I forgot I got these, so random. But I don't have any vitamins at the minute. And I feel like I'm trying to improve my health and stuff. So I should start with the basics, a vitamin. And then in Primark, I got what I wore earlier, that two piece, which was that collab. Is it got a label on it here? Cause this is from that exact lady and I have no idea who she is. Her name is Paula E. Kavaria. Is, is it really obvious who this lady is? If I, if it's an obvious person, then apologies, but I hadn't actually heard of her. And I got this kind of dupe for, I can never say it, Masamu Duty. <laughs> you know, like Freya Killed and stuff like that, shop there all the time. I can literally picture the logo, it's like the curly writing, but I've never been in there and I probably should have tried this on, but it looked quite big, so I got it in a Oh my god, I'm fuming. Maybe that's why it looked big. Oh my god, I'm so angry. I'm gonna have to change it. This was on a small hanger, but that's why it looked big. For goodness sake. Oh, I bet I won't be able to find it. I'm so annoyed. Whatever. I got some tights. I saw them at the chill and I thought, oh, I'm literally fuming. And then a pack of five black tights. Funny story, not funny at all, but last time I went to London, I was wearing tights for the first time ever. And as soon as I got to London, they ripped. So I was in Selfridges and I was like, I can quickly change. And the only tights I could find were those two pairs. There was one for 28 pound and one for 55. And I was like, oh my God, I had to go for the 28 pound one. And Primark, a pack of five for four pound. Don't go to Selfridges if your tights rip. I can't believe it. I'm so angry about this. I was excited to wear that as well. And then I went in Tiger Tiger, which I took you with me. And last minute, the only thing I didn't show, I'm excited to showcase this actually, is a cup, but it's got like all the different measurements of flow ounces, rice, sugar, uh, UK cups, US cups, flow ounces everything around the edges i just thought that would be so handy and then the bits i already showed you so the shopping list for food just a little notepad with easy to rip perforated edges and then these and that's everything i've got but i'm gonna go to bed now because I'm going for a run in the morning with Leon. George is Leon. We discussed it today because we saw them. Sorry I didn't vlog much, but we were just, we haven't seen each other as a group. Since Dubai, since they got engaged, I think. Wow, that is a while ago. But my eyelashes and brows are like looking exactly how I love them. So I don't know if you remember me saying when I get them at first, they're, they actually need to brush my eyebrows. They're a bit intense but now i feel like they've kind of just doled down a little bit and this is how i literally love them if i could have this stage for ages that i don't want them to get any less don't like them anymore this is my perfect oh, i just feel fresh like i've got no makeup on but i feel like put together also my master to botox don't know if you remember getting that which is basically it like paralyzes the muscle here i can really notice that it slimmed down my jaw i don't know if you can notice can you see, I'm more like this now. It helps with like grinding your teeth, but this muscle here, if you grip your teeth together, you can really feel here. It's like completely just slim that down. Anyway, oh, and one last thing. I have been really bad, but I'm on the second book of the this trilogy, even though I've read the third. If you don't know that story, then I'm not even gonna bore you, but I've been awful. So that is me holding myself accountable. I'm gonna read more and yeah, I will see you in the next one.
10k in the morning with Leon. I'm really on my fitness groove. I've done a 30 minute hit at home workout tonight because I'm going to go to the gym. And as soon as I have my gym stuff on, Cass was like, have you checked the times for the gym? I'm sure the gym will be closed because I was going at like quarter past eight and it was closing at half eight. So good job he said that otherwise I would have got there and been like hello can I come in and they'll be like we're closing anyways no guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one have a great week